Hi guys, Jen here from Jen Michelle Coaching and today I want to talk about what to do when he never says I love you. This is a question I get from women all the time and for those of you new to my channel I would love to invite you to subscribe. I release a video Sundays of each week. And this is an experience that I have definitely been through with my husband because he is definitely a man of few words and more action based. Yet, what if a man is showing up in all the right ways and we still just have that deep desire to hear it? Or what if he isn't showing up and we're not even getting the bare minimum of reassurance? How do we handle the intensity of emotions that surface around that? So let's talk about some ways to inspire him to be more verbal. And let's also talk about some ways for you to make sure that you're recognizing all the ways he's communicating love but not necessarily expressing it in words. So number one, if a man does not express I love you and you find that you're the one putting it out there, just make sure that you're not doing it in a way where you are giving it to get it because he can energetically feel this. So if you're saying I love you with the hope or the expectation that it will be re return to you and that you'll feel some level of reassurance, he's likely going to feel a lot of resistance because he can feel that you're attached to the outcome, which of course makes him want to dig his heels in and not give. Men want to feel completely free to give. So if there's any energy of having to do something or feeling like something's expected of them, they instinctively don't want to do it. So if you are a communicator and you want to say those words to your guy, it's okay, but you just want to make sure that there's zero attachment to the outcome. And that involves being ruthlessly honest with yourself in regards to that, making sure that you're not tricking yourself and that you're truly okay with not hearing it back, recognizing that you're just simply making a deposit and it doesn't have to mean anything bad. It doesn't mean that he doesn't love you. He doesn't care about the relationship. And sometimes men just take that in and it feels really good and it makes a beautiful deposit that shows up in another area, whether it be that day in a week or two weeks. But the most important piece is that it's just coming from your heart, not in that sort of giving it to get it back in return type of thing, because nothing just makes a man less inspired than that. Number two making sure that you're paying attention to all the ways in which he is showing up for you. The biggest piece with this is men don't do anything they don't wanna do. So if he's doing anything to make your life better, you're recognizing this and you are really bringing your attention to it. Did he bring you coffee? Did he fix something in your house? Did he make reservations at a place that you like? Did he go on a walk when he's really not the type of guy that likes to take a walk? Noticing all the ways that he's communicating from love versus using the words that, you know, using those words, I love you, to only mean that he can show up in one way. This is really, really critical. And number three, are you letting him love you his way or are you demanding it your way? And it doesn't mean that you're wrong for wanting to hear those words. You can always communicate that to a man. You know, I love to hear that and I'm just owning that and that's it. It's how I feel. It, those words may seem silly, but it, it feels important to me and it feels meaningful to me. And then that's it. You're not forcing and you're not trying to make him do something because of course that will never feel good. But one of the biggest mistakes I see women make is they demand love their way versus really giving him the freedom to show you all the beautiful ways that he does express love and to see that. And so to let go of that need to control how it looks and having it be done a certain way. Sometimes we have a lot of conditioning around this, you know, the Disney conditioning, the, you know, parent parental or, you know, well-intentioned friend conditioning that unless he does this, 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 in this amount of time and we reach this milestone by this date, then he doesn't love us. And so we wanna make sure that we're really acutely aware of those, some, those subconscious ways in which we're demanding love our way versus seeing the beautiful gifts in which he's showing us how much he loves us and his because 
every man is different and we want to really create the space for him to show up and be inspired to express himself in this way, knowing that at the end of the day, actions always speak louder than words. So if this is helpful to you, please check out my site, jenmichellecoaching.com. I have my group waiting list back up for the Attract Him Forever program, and I would love to connect with you there. Have a beautiful day.